what is up today we're painting an entire car i'm going to show you basically what goes in to this paint job start to finish all right so i got my paint right here and a big old gallon look at that let me show you nice red it'll look really good okay so i mix it up in a whole gallon with no reducer it mixes one to one so one part paint to one part reducer. We use Sickens, best in the business. Go big or go home. The first pour, I always make a mess, so bear with me. <laughs> I didn't even spill it, guys. So I can top this cup all the way off. Paint's ready. So what I do now is I start with one color on the entire car so i'm going to put a one coat of really thin sealer and it will be white white is my favorite color to start with um, it kind of brightens the color up so i start with white on all of my custom paint jobs so we're going to do that first First coat of sealers down, now it's time for first coat of red. It's super loud, sorry. Start with a spray out card every time. Even if you think your color is right, always do a spray out. It takes two seconds. So just do the exact same thing on this as you're doing to what you're painting. And it basically tells you what your color is gonna be, but you always make sure you do everything on this the exact same way you're doing whatever you're painting or else what, there's no point of doing it. So, one coat on this, we'll do one coat on the car. Okay, first coat's down. If you're wondering why I'm sweating so bad and how I keep my physique, look at them bad boys. Woo! It's from freaking painting. I got one coat on, I'm sweating my ass off. And it's like 15 degrees outside. So, imagine what it's like in the summer. All right, so I basically used this whole cup of red for one coat and I'm gonna use a lot of paint. I'm gonna get some more red going. I'll give you a walk around of the car real quick before my next coat and we're gonna keep on rolling. It's pretty blotchy still, if you can see in the right light. It's, I mean, it's not covered very well. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty transparent color, so I bet it's gonna take every bit of four coats. Number three is going on right now. Um, looks really good. I'm probably going to do four coats and a drop coat. The drop coat is basically where I'll stand, I'll keep my gun a little bit farther away, and I will also go the opposite direction from what I've been spraying. So my last coat will be stepped back and up and down, basically misting it on to prevent any like modeling or striping in the paint. So I'll show you more on that when it comes to it. So let's keep rolling. Yeah. That's code three. I'm having a few coverage issues, but it looks freaking amazing. This color is nuts. I didn't, ex I didn't expect it to look this good actually. I was gonna do a drop coat on my fourth, or my fifth coat. I'm gonna do a drop coat now. I'm probably gonna do two coats up and down because all of my other coats were side to side. It's really transparent. I think if I don't do a couple of coats the opposite direction, I'm gonna have blotchiness and, stre and streaks and stripes. Okay, so I've 
got a drop coat on. I have a few, uh, let's see if I can get it on camera. Right there, little dirt nibs. Take some really fine sandpaper or my tack rag. Actually, some of them will just wipe off. So, I have a tack rag. Basically like cheese cloth. It's, I think it's, it has beeswax on it, it's kind of sticky. So, you see where it's at right there. Sometimes I can wipe up a little bit. They'll come right off. I'll go show you my paint gun, what I use, um, the settings I use it on, and stuff. So let's go check that out. So what I'm using on this, I'm using the SADA 5500, let's see. I'll give you this shot because it's clean and mine's dirty. There it is, it's bronze, like a matte finish. SADA 5500. Um, so this gun has two pattern options with the cap. So the cap can spray it like a football, where it's an oval, or it can spray it like a more straight line. So I get the one that's more definitive of a straight line, which kind of makes it spray like an Iwata. Um, has a digital gauge for my air pressure. I spray it about 26, 27 PSI. Um, the fluid, I leave it all the way out, even for clear coat. Um, it's a 1-3 tip, so it's not real big. It's, it's pretty common. Some people use the 1.4, but 1.3 tip, everything's inside. It's, it's clean, I just cleaned it before I did this job here. Um, I used to run the fluid in a little bit for clear coat, uh, but I got, I've been using this gun for a few years now, so I'm really comfortable with it, so I can crank it out, and I have my, I just have my rhythm going to where I don't usually get runs. So, I've been through, this is my second 5500, I have two of them. I have, a couple more SADA 5000s, a couple SADA 4000s. I just wear guns out super quick. Um, and I'm kind of hard on them, honestly. They're super expensive, but I'm literally painting like six days a week, sometimes seven days a week. So I use the crap out of these guns. So I wear them out pretty quick. I'm hard on them. I drop them. I, I try to be cautious, but you know, stuff just happens. Um, so I'm going to go put maybe my last drop coat on and then we'll get to clear coat and I can talk about that then. All right guys, ready for some clear coat. Um, this is the part that always stresses me out because I could get runs, I could really screw something up, and it's really tough to get runs out of clear coat. So now I gotta really concentrate. Um, should be okay though. I'm not nervous, I don't get nervous. No way. This car's gonna take a bunch of clear coat. So I'm mixing up a couple of cups right now so I can just keep rolling. Okay, so we're ready for clear. I brought my knee pad. This car is super low, it's like a freaking knee killer, man. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set it up like a tripod so you, I can get some closer shots for you all of actually what I'm doing. I have my GoPro right now because I can wipe the screen off with some thinner or something if it gets crap on it. Like it's already got paint all over it right now. So I want to use the GoPro, show you what I do. So I do three coats total. I will probably do maybe just one coat on the door jams. It's not real important. I want to make sure I get all my edges covered very good. And I want to make sure I get a good buildup of clear coat because I will be sanding and buffing the whole car. You take off a little bit of material when you do that. So I always try to do one extra coat of clear um, and it helps. It actually looks better with more clear coat too. So let's get started. So a few details again. SADA 5500 HVLP, a 1.3 tip. Um, the fluid nozzle is all the way out so it's just wide open. 26, 27 PSI, probably 27-ish. Uh, the first coats, thin, wet, and pretty. That's what they tell me in school, so that's what I do. So here we go. Also, what you wanna do is hit, your, hit my edges first.
So there's that side with clear. On to the next. Guys, 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 guys. Look at this freaking car. Oh my gosh. This thing looks freaking amazing. I've got a few dirt nibs, you know. I'm gonna get them every once in a while, but the whole car will be sanded and buffed. So none of that matters. Or it, it matters, but it's it won't show, so it's okay. It's something that just happens. Um, this thing looks great. So happy with it. Look at the door gaps. One thing we always do at our shop is we pride ourselves in having perfect door gaps, super straight body work. I mean, look at this. This this is this is probably the longest quarter panel you could have on a vehicle. And I mean, it's there's no waves in it anywhere. So, that's pretty damn impressive. So, look at this door gap. I mean, it's just perfect all the way down. So, we when we got the car, that was one of our main concerns. This door gap was huge. You could stick your hand through it. So we basically, we will weld on the door edge and bring it out closer to that. So we get a perfect edge. So looks really, really good. I'm excited. Super excited. So I'm going to get it out. I got a lot of other stuff to do today. That probably wraps up the video. I appreciate everything. Thanks for watching. Um, it's kind of a tutorial, not really. Kind of, sort of. So, um, next week. So, next week I will be sanding and buffing the whole car. So, I'll do a video on that just to give you guys some updates. And I'll probably do a video or two on the assembly of the car as well. So, this will be a fun, you know, two or three video project just to keep you guys updated on, give you some, some more content. So, look how good this thing looks. I mean, it's not even sanded and buffed yet. It's amazing. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going home for the day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I'll always comment back. I like talking to you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. See you later.